Maria Maria in Mill Valley, California, featuring fresh made guacamole. We're here at the Marin County Farmer's Market here at Civic Center. We're going to pick up some uh, local ingredients for our tasting later on today. Let's go. Okay, let's start gathering some ingredients here. We got some nice organic tomatoes that we can use later for our guacamole. Okay, we found some cilantro here. We can bring that back for our tasting. You know, the good thing about coming to these farmer's markets is you get to meet the growers, the farmers, people come into our, our restaurants. I'm just gonna step in here real quick and grab some uh, serranos and jalapenos. Yeah, I think we have all the ingredients we need uh, to go cook up some good food. Let's head back to Maria Maria. Hey everybody, and we're back here at Maria Maria with Chef Shay. How's it going, Chef? Good, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Good. And I, I noticed that you got all this wonderful produce from the Marin County Farmer's Market. Yeah, we, we took a trip up there this morning and came back with all kinds of, of good organic uh, produce. Cool. So what are we going to do with all this stuff? Uh, we're going to make our house-made guacamole today uh, that we make to order, and uh, let's get started. Cool. I notice a lot of fun ingredients here, but this green paste is really get, catching my eye. What is that? Uh, we make a guacamole seasoning paste here. Uh, it's basically onion, serrano chili, jalapeno, garlic, lime juice, and salt. Uh, it cuts the avocado nice, and, and so let's get going. All right. So what else do we have to do to put this together? Uh, let's start by dicing up the, the jalapeno. The, the onion and the tomato as well. All right, I'll get going on this cilantro. So remember guys, if you want to keep a lot of extra heat in your peppers, keep these seeds in there. If you don't want them, take them out. That's the hot stuff. And moving on to the next step, Mike, why don't you go ahead and uh, small dice that tomato and I'll jump Excellent. on the onion. Sounds good to me. So Chef Shea, that's a nice looking avocado there. What well, are you gonna do with that bad boy? We're gonna cut this in half, take the pit out, and uh, scoop it into our bowl over here, start assembling. Do you have a trick for that? Yeah, absolutely. You just start at the top here, you go down to the pit, and you just rotate all the way around, and then give it a half nice. twist. That's and why Chef here has all his fingers still. And then this is where a part where you wanna be careful, of course, but you just wanna give the knife just in it just a little bit. Twist that as well, and it comes right out. Perfect. Uh, if it doesn't come out, your avocado is not ripe, and you don't want to be using it. And I noticed you toss your pit there in a compost bowl. Yeah, we, we try to uh, compost all of our vegetables and things that we're not going to use instead of filling landfills with it. You guys should do that at home, too. <laughs> yeah, we'll just take our bowl here. Just a nice spoon. It doesn't need to be slotted. You just want to get right up against the, uh, the skin there and just scoop it out. Beautiful, Easy. look at that. All right, Mike, let's go ahead and get this started. We're gonna start by roughly chopping up the avocado and then we'll just start assembling our ingredients, all right? Okay, and you can just do that with a spoon? Absolutely. Uh, like I said earlier, is if your uh, avocado isn't fresh, it's gonna be really hard. If it's not ripened, you don't wanna be using it yet, so. Oh, let me give you a little bit of salt, but uh, not too much, huh, because we got a lot of salt in the Absolutely. paste. Absolutely. And how much of this paste? Uh, you can be generous with it. Um, just to your heart's content. And then a little bit of everything else? A little bit of everything. Throw in some onion, followed by a little jalapeno, and then we'll throw in some tomatoes and cilantro. A little heat, the jalapeno here. Beautiful tomato. And cilantro. And then we'll finish it off with just a nice squeeze of lime juice. Awesome. I love how easy this is. So easy. And even the People are so intimidated by cooking, but you just got to keep it simple. All right, Mike, it looks like our recipe is done. It's time to just plate it up and serve it. All right, well, how do you do that here? Real simple, just, just scoop it up and be generous with it. Always be generous with your serving portions. Top it with a little fresh cilantro. Bango. Onto our plate with our chips over here. Perfect. 
How can you go wrong with that? You can't. Well, it looks so good sitting there, but there's one last thing that we need to do. Yeah, we gotta taste it. Darn right. Do you mind if I dive in? Dive in. Awesome. It looks so good already. What do you think? That is absolutely ridiculous, chef. Perfect amount of heat, nice fresh flavors, and it was so easy to put together. So easy, anybody can make this at home. Nice one, man. Thanks, man. For these recipes and more, check out the Hippie Gourmet's Quick and Simple Cookbook for Healthy Eating, available wherever books are sold.